overreacting, selfish, and dramatic? Not at all when you think of all that collects dust in my mental attic. A brain so full of a hurt, a heartache, and trauma. In doing this now, I believe I can stop the trauma. The flame I speak of so very often led me in the dark, straight to my coffin. Burned out now and cold, wick withered, afraid, and oh so very old. So many years that candle fought the winds of time, withstanding so much abuse and many other forms of crime. Lovelessly hopeless, now I stand. I can only pray that you'll understand. I pray you will find peace, and in my going, my memory and you will cease. All pictures, cards, letters, and any other trace, anything resembling me, you will readily erase. I now raise my white flag in sign of my defeat, for the hole in my heart, belly, and mind will never be complete. I reached out, I grasped for something, dangling over the edge, and there was nothing. I did the best I could. I hung on so much longer than so many would. Some call me stubborn. I prefer misunderstood. When asked how I was, I always said fine. We're good. The truth now be told, if my life were a deck of cards, I would unhesitantly fold. The losses I suffered, my numbness covered, until at night alone my pain all around me hovered. My scream smothered by my pillow, my aura resembling that of a weeping willow. They say, better to have loved and lost than to have never loved at all. But they left out the part about how to stay strong and how to stand tall. I have had my eyes wide open during my life, nothing other than a 25-year fall. I shut them tight now as I am ready to smash into the wall. The structure that separates us from either heaven or hell, until we face our judgment left or right, only time will tell. Heart dissolving in the acid-like substance called grief. In this letter, I want to say that I'm hoping to find my much-needed relief. Empty tears streak my face. I will not lie. It is not easy to say, but I dare say it anyway. Goodbye.